I'm gonna show Alice what we're gonna do tomorrow. Are you excited? I'm not sure. Let's see what this is. I don't know if I wanna see. Bah! What the? Okay, so it's like a quad. So it's two quadcopters. <laughs> like, it's, a three inch it's an octo. A three inch octo, but like half of it's upside turned upside down. down. So the props can interleave. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Riot. I'm Ladrid. I'm Alex Vanover. Today we are gonna be trying out a really weird drone. So this is something that was sent to Joshua Bardwell to check out, and he brought it here for us all to fly together. It was built by a guy named Victor. It's his own weird brainchild. So the idea is that this guy is going to sort of split the difference between a three inch and a five inch, mm -hmm. right? And it's not like your typical octocopter either where it's like actually eight motors like all facing up the same way. Half of it's turned upside down, the other half is right side right, up. Right, right. It's, it's got weird. like two offset plates and then the it's it's set up so that the prop discs overlap because some of the motors are pointed up and some pointed. It's super it's different. It's really weird but kind of awesome yeah. design. This is probably the weirdest drone that we've gotten to uh, check out so far. I would say so. Yeah, so this is you build it, we fly it. All right, so who's gonna fly the Octo first? Not you. What? what? Yeah, not you. And he broke the uh, Tommy's hex. The throttle. Oh! <laughs> oh, and the whole, the whole go clean go. plate's ripped off. You go Sorry, you've lost your privileges. I won't, I won't crash it. I'll take it really easy. No, 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 no. no you won't. Barbell's going first. I'll go first. first. No, that's fair. Vincent did reach out to you, so. Okay. And Drew is a freestyle pilot. I'm sorry that I'm the only one that actually pushes it. Oh, you guys are like, wow, it's so interesting. Push. Oh, I did a flip. Oh, wow, I did another flip. No, he's right. He's right. I crash a lot less, but I also do a lot fewer you impressive just tricks. I just do that. impressive tricks. I like to crash. take my quads home, and Drew doesn't. I just don't. I I mean, I'll fix them. Let's see if it covers. About 25%. Ooh, wow, it's smooth. That is so weird because it sounds like a three inch, but that punch. thing. Wow, not a lot of prop wash coming down. Let's do that again. That thing boogies. Now, is this his tune on Let's the, the prop wash? This... Oh, this is exactly no, his Vincent. No sound. prop wash. Yeah, I think There's it. a little. The Oct that we're flying today is actually on clean flight. Yeah, it's not on beta flight or flight one or kiss or anything. It's on clean flight, which I was a little bit surprised. His tune and everything though, that's the biggest thing. And maybe I th there's I think, features. Yeah, but I think Victor set this up on clean flight because I think it was the only seal board racing. that he's using that he could get eight outputs. You have to seal racing, seal racing and you can get eight outputs and it is made for clean flight. So I'm, I'm really impressed, especially with the handling. It didn't feel slow. It picked up speed a lot, had yeah. good handling and really good battery life. I yeah. mean, we're flying a 1300 four cell, which is, you would with never- With eight motors too. You it's, would never yeah. fly that on like a Baby Hawk three inch. It would be way too heavy. Mm -hmm. No, it looked pretty good for so its size. So we got good flight time. Right, so you're using the same battery you would yeah. use on a five inch. Flight time here is four minutes. We're still at 15. And we're, we're resting at 15.3. So I mean, we could probably do, I'm sure we could do five it. minutes at least. We'll have to see. All right. I want to fly it. Alex, it's turn. Let's get another battery on. What did you think when you flew it? It was different. It was, I was surprised first off at how long it flew. I was really expecting Yeah, you think it was going to be more inefficient. I thought it was going to have like half the flight time of a five inch quad. Okay. It actually flew longer than some of my five inch quads, or about the same comparable times. It yeah. had a lot of control. Yeah, the biggest thing was the yaw authority because there were so many motors, there was a lot of things that could spin up or slow yeah. down to get that. Because yeah. yaw works weird, right? It, it spins yeah. up and slows down motors and uses that angular acceleration of the motors to yeah. counter spin that. So yeah, it, it was a very locked in yaw feeling. And yeah. on top of that, it flew really good. It flew kind of like a five inch freestyle quad. It definitely didn't carry its momentum as well as a heavier quad, even though the weight's no, about I think, the same. Yeah, it, which was weird because it yeah. felt like it would weigh the same. So you thought it would toss 
the right. same way, but it didn't. It kind of, I don't know. And the throttle it was felt a little lighter. Different. Did you think it felt lighter? It felt lighter in a way, but the throttle curve was a lot different as well. It felt like you were, there was really not much going on down low, uh -huh. which is kind of nice if you were trying to cruise down low and keep your line smooth. But then all of a sudden, the top, and it was really powerful. Oh, that thing boogied. That thing boogied. It was really, really was powerful. powerful. Well, actually, so then we started wondering, is it going to be faster than one of our 5-inch quads? So, so we put Definitely. my freestyle quad with a GoPro up against the Octocopter without the GoPro. <laughs> exactly who won. I want to say I won, but here's the thing. I definitely... Here's the thing is I'm bad at going in a straight line because you would actually go and I would go up. Well, the and thing is, and what I noticed was at first your quad was faster. I, I was shocked, but it did seem faster. I would see you in front of me and then I think what would happen was your battery would start sagging a lot more than my. I battery. did have battery sag. And, and it, I, we were using the same brand batteries. It wasn't, it wasn't the battery. No, it was anything. the same battery, but I think that your your drone, the the three inch actor after there's less amp draw. It's yeah. not just pumping out thrust in four motors, it's kind of less amps but to more points. Which is weird. Which kinda doesn't make sense. It should all be it the should same, be right? it should either all be the same I, it still doesn't make sense. I figured the octocopter would be way more inefficient. Eight motors, that sounds like more amps. And on top of that, because the props overlap each other, you should be losing efficiency. Yeah, but, but it, it's weird it because I noticed and noticed with the freestyle too, I was able to do pretty long flights and it felt really consistent throughout the whole flight. In fact, I flew a little bit too long and over discharged, but I was you going did. and all of a sudden, yeah, you they were did. like, oh no, <laughs> right, you're down to like 14 volts, whoops. Right. So you took the GoPro off and yeah. you went to just do some all out ripping. Yes. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh. Oh my god, I can't even keep up with what you're doing well, as a spectator. It's just happening too fast for me. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. You found the prop wash. See, that's why I wanted to race it. I was trying to do as many corners as possible, because honestly, in a straight section, the speed felt a pretty, pretty similar to my 5-inch quads. And what I noticed in the corners is the control was really, really good, but it was almost terrifying. Oh! What the hell? How did you do that? It just accelerated so fast. I was slaloming around Ooh. the trees as fast as I could. If I'm going around a tree or something and I'm trying uh -huh. to 180, it felt like the five inch quad kind of carried its momentum through, so it takes longer to stop it and then re-accelerate uh, in the next okay. direction. What was scary and awesome about the octocopter, I would stop and they would just stop me there and right. accelerate straight in the next line. Ouch! And they buried in the camera, and I just see it. <laughs> oh, go! What just happened? How did he Wait, not? Quick. I don't understand how he reacts that fast. I didn't crash it. All right, By the time I the, see uh, the thing, I would have been. I just caught a branch. Yeah, I clipped a branch, as you'll see in the DVR. I clipped these branches turning in. And I, I mean, it slung me into the ground pretty good, but like not more than a five-inch quad would. It was, no. it was moving, but not that bad. A five-inch would have taken. That wasn't. It would have taken it. It was did moving. Did you break two arms? Yeah. You, you broke 25% of this drone. And the problem is because it's a unibody as well. It's a lot harder to fix. Wait, and did you break one on each? Yeah. You, you've complete. That's 100% destroyed, actually, because it's yeah. two unibodies. Exactly. That drone is 100% destroyed. That is yeah. way worse than I've ever done. Is this true? That's way worse. All right. This is that's true. way worse. Oh my God. To be, you can't even. Feel the motors. <laughs> Feel the motors. Oh, jeez. That is. He's not. That he's bad. not exaggerating. No, it's pretty hot. It's pretty, pretty hot. hot. They're pretty hot. pretty hot. They're really hot. I was just pushing it really hard because I wanted to see how it would take a crash as well, and. It was kind of fun to fly out of my comfort zone a lot. It's really, really nimble. It's really, really fast. Do I like it more than five inch I mean, I like it until that. So I think what we could say is that if you race as hard as Alex Vanover, this might not be the frame for you. No, definitely not. This is gonna take a lot of work. But it's got um, a lot of potential. But like, it's it's really. I think like on a on a course like this where you have a lot of tight sections, but also a lot of sections where you're going. You know, we talked about the prop wash, and I wanted to address that. 
it looked like there was more prop watch than like a, a tuned five inch quad or something would have. But I have to note that it was turning a lot faster through it. So I think what's happening is it's turning so fast. It's that's a whole nother level of prop watch that mm -hmm. we haven't really gotten to in, yeah. in racing. Well, you think it's turning faster than you can turn your five inch quad? I, I don't think I can turn a five inch quad around that fast. Really? Oh yeah. So it, there is it, a performance advantage. There is a performance advantage, and there's also the disadvantage because it's really? light. Because it's it seems lighter still than a five inch quad. A five inch quad through us basic slalom will carry some momentum a lot through. This quad, I was if you watch the UVR, you can see it. I'm like forcing it through the slalom, like pitching down into the slalom to get it to keep going, to keep the speed up. So I really <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that. Actually, that was I was great. I enjoyed flying it. And, and, and listen, as much it as I'm really giving fun. you crap for but, you yeah. being the one that broke it, let, for the for the record, when you broke it, it's because you were going it was, full van over. I don't want to try bad talk the frame. I hit this I'm, tree branch at, at actual full throttle. Well, like I said, this is just a passion project of right. a, of a guy. Right. It is pretty. Okay, but, but it is pretty thin here. But let us say that for a for, I've never seen anything like this before and for what it is it's really amazing I'll say this, this. is really really great and yeah. and just because the first pass doesn't stand up to the no, van is, over full stand durability this I think concept this is a, a, has a lot yeah, of potential I, I want to build one I'm gonna build one we just tend to get so stuck in our our ways of like five inch quad five inch quad five and we don't experiment yeah i like i like experimentation this is making me really well that's think. where the you build it we fly it series comes in handy absolutely if you guys want us to fly something weird send it our way and we are happy to just um crash it i mean test, fly, it. Crash. test it thank you guys so much for watching this episode thanks to vincent for sending this awesome quad for us to fly and destroy and if you enjoyed this episode leave us a comment down below let us know what you would like to see us Build. What weird drone? What weird drone would you like to see us have sent to us? What weird drone would you like us to try and get a hold of? And guys, be sure to check out the Rotorite store. Link in the description down below. All right, guys, I'm Ladrib. I'm Joshua Bardwell. I'm Alex Vanover. Thank you guys for joining, and we'll see you next time. Woo!